Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Poverty Princess. So right now, Oreo is sniffing the bird seed and the bird feeder. I uh, cleaned it up good with some hot water and dish soap. I was sitting down on my veranda. So I'm going to fill this side up with some bird seed and I'm gonna go, go out in my yard and hang this. Now there is a, a a metal piece but I'm gonna look for um I think I have some wire out on the desk to um hang the bird feeder I think that's what I used last year so let me get some bird seed in and uh, get this out there because I hear robins I see robins and I feel bad that I don't have um I don't have any food out for them yet. Sorry about that noise in the background, guys. <laughs> that is uh, across the uh, yard over here, like behind me. This way. Um, the landscaping company, which is over, th over there. Um, they built a shed on the property over here. And they have equipment they store there, so I apologize for that. I don't know what the heck it is they're doing. Um, right when I came out, though, there was some robins that were over here chirping. And I wanted to end the video with that. Because I thought it would be nice to end it with that. Oh, wait. There's a robin there. I don't know if you guys can see her. If you look where the... Um, solar stakes are. She's moving around. Good lords. I am sorry about that. You get so darn used to it like in the warmer months in the summer. Oh my god. I did not pick a good time I guess to end this video. There she is. I don't know if that's mama who has a new nest, I mean, not new nest, but using the nest up here in the swing. I don't know if that's her or just a regular, um, one of the robins. She's keeping a good eye on me, so might be this mama. Swing mama, we'll call that one this year. First year we were here, that Robin had two broods of babies in one summer, so we call her Fertile Myrtle. And then last year was Young Mama, who built that nest up really, really high. I stood on the swing dangerously, trying to look in and said, nope, you can't see anything. She really built the walls up. So, I don't know, I guess this year we'll call this Mama Robin that has a nest here. Uh, we'll call her Swing Mama. <laughs> there we go. Swing Mama. Maybe I could get Swing Mama in the video or two. She's really checking me out. Look at that. I see her little head peeking up. Look at her. Look at her go. Yeah, she's watching me. I bet you that's... I bet you that is Swing Mama. Yeah, she's really watching me. Like, goodness. Then there's a baby robin. Well, not a baby baby, but a young one. Over, over here. A little one. Probably a baby from last spring. A young one. And then we have the starlings back there. Uh, not starlings, the, um, what am I saying starlings for? The, uh, the crows. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I have a fondness for crows, too, to be honest. And not just because of Brandon Lee in the movie, The Crow, 
and the uh, stories behind it and Native American legends and things know. Um, I don't know. I just, I just like them. I remember I had a very, I had a very uh, interesting experience walking home one morning many years ago. Um, when I was in junior college, we had gone to see the movie The Crow, and I did a term paper, actually about some legends I dug around and found out behind it. And I, trying to remember where I was, it was early in the morning, it was like 8 o'clock in the morning, foggy, I'm walking by a cemetery, and I hear this peck, peck, peck. At first I'm thinking it's a woodpecker in the tree. Uh, no, there was a crow sitting on top of a darn tombstone, pecking at it. And if anybody remembers the scene from the crow, there's the tomb, uh, tombstone scene with the crow on it, pecking. And I just stopped for a minute and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. You really are not doing this now, are you? And I just kept walking and the crow kept pecking. A little eerie, a little odd. So, yeah, they're, I don't know, they're just something about them. Uh, I don't, I don't know, I can't really put my finger on it, but they're definitely good hunters, I'll tell you that. So are hawks. Maybe I can get a walk in uh, the woods down behind our local giant. Although, they're tearing them up at a fast pace. But, um, there's, there's a nice spot. Well, there used to be a nice spot. And it was up kind of high. You could literally, like, see hawks miles out flying over where they have nests and that. Uh, it was nice to watch them. And throughout the summer, like, if you sat there in this one spot, you could see them flying around with their young, teaching them to fly and everything, and I guess swoop and all that. Well, I guess the robins sort of scooted because I'm sitting out here, so that's my cue to end this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy, you know, a little bit of seeing uh, my little patch of outdoors. I'm going to be doing a lot of outdoor videos soon and uh, transform this into my um, little piece of heaven is what I call it. Once we have the garden going and get chairs out here, the fire pit, grilling. Yeah, at least uh, being on a curfew and staying at home definitely is a lot nicer and a lot more bearable when you have a spot outdoors you can uh, sit in. Well, guys, uh, take care. Please stay safe. Hope you liked the video. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. So, put that much in for right now. And the reason is because I'm really not sure how many birds are going to, you know, come to it. Not to mention, um, it is messy uh, filling this up. And silly me, I shouldn't have done it on top of the stove, but I was able to get the excess bird seed, so that's okay. Um, so let me uh, get my jacket on and we'll go out and uh, see if I can get this hung up. Another nice sunny day. I have my bird feeder hanging there. Um, I don't really have to worry about too many uh, animals coming through here. So I don't think that's, you know, a bad spot to have it 
obviously the steps are bad here so nobody uses this door to go into the shed they use the front door um so i mean that's okay i'm just gonna gauge it and see how long that lasts but what i want to do is dig up some of these darn weeds and uh that's pretty much what I am aiming to do. Right. So right there is my um, little weed pile. Yeah, I'm going to uh, bag that up in a few minutes. So I got pretty much all of them. Most of them are really easy. Um, Especially the creeping kind, like, that lays so close to the surface, you could just give it a good yank and it all comes up. And then there's a few you gotta dig with a spade. But this here isn't, um, isn't too bad. Like, I got a little bit of weeds up, not too much. I'm gonna get up all that dry, that dry straw and that back there. And, uh... I mean, there's really not a lot I can do. I don't have my fertilizer yet. Um, Amazon says I should get it by <clears throat> the 26th. So that will be good. I'm really looking forward to, um, to getting this garden going, you know? Ah. So not much over here to get, just that right there that there like I said some of the straw in that not anything um, anything major I have wildflowers growing here and they did grow great but stupid me uh, not realizing they're very invasive and they're starting to get under there this right here irritates the shit out of me I don't know who is doing it why they're doing it but it is just disgusting to throw away gloves like this it's just ridiculous I don't know why why people have to be slobs now I have gloves on and you might be thinking well you're in your yard, why do you have gloves on? Because I'm going to be doing a cleanup. Grass is getting high that things can be hiding here in the grass. And I want to just, um, just get rid of, rid of some of it. Ah, so the weeding was good that I did the other day. Got a lot, a lot up. I want to say most of it. And, uh, yeah, as you'll see, things blow in under the gate when people put the garbage out. You can't help that. <coughs> Nothing you can really do about that. So I'm going to be doing some cleanup. It's reasonably nice out. I mean, it's not hot, but uh, I want to do something. I just, oh my gosh, I need a break from cleaning. Uh, just after a while, the smell of bleach all the time just gets, oh, sickening. So I'm very grateful. I can at least come out here and just be like, nope, need to, uh, need to get out of the house. And I look at that swing and think, oh my God, what happened? Two summers ago, I had that peanut so nice. That just goes to show you what cold then, just what winter does to things. Look at that, like holy Hannah. I don't know. And I, I did a good job painting it, too. Um, 
It took me about a week, week and a half of painting this. I went over it twice. I used a sealer even and just look like, holy heck. Yeah, but you know what? It's still nice to sit in, especially in the evening, and just relax. So, I guess you're going to see me cleaning up my yard. 